Another great challenge for recovery and restoration on the islands is the presence of invasive annual grasses. They grow very fast from seeds and pump out seeds every year and then die off. And so when they die off, they leave a lot of dead material lying on the ground. This is also a fairly unusual situation for the native plants to have a mat, very thick mat of dead material on the ground that their seeds have to contend with. One of the species that is challenged by these grasslands is the island Phacelia. This is a tiny little annual plant that lives out its life cycle entirely in one year. One of the biggest challenges that we have in studying these plants is just finding it. Over the last 12 years, we've found maybe between three to about 50 plants per football field size plot, which means you walk around very carefully looking. And when we find the plant, we measure it, we take a coordinate, uh, with a GPS unit so that we know where that plant was so we can come back next year and look to see did its seeds germinate next year? Are there more plants next year? This plant used to grow in a habitat that was what we call lupin scrub. Now where it's growing are in these headlands where the lupin scrub has been eliminated and these invasive grasses have come in. So when this plant comes up from seed it's suddenly facing a totally different environment than the environment that it is used to, that it evolved in. The seed has to push its way uh, down through a mat of dense litter and push its stem up through a very shady environment where there's grasses overtopping it and is doing battle against these bigger grasses. The population future does not look good for these plants and so this is a situation where we need to go in and manipulate the environment somewhat. It's better for this plant for us to work on restoring or re recovering that whole lupin scrub system so that it can be there to nourish those plants when they do decide to germinate. <laughs>